हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आर टुडे टॉपिक इज ऑल अबाउट द एंजियोस्पर्म वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट इवोल्यूशनरी डेवलपमेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एंजियोस्पर्म टर्मिनोलॉजीज क्लासेस ऑफ एंजियोस्पर्म मॉर्फोलॉजी द पार्ट्स ऑफ फ्लावर्स एंड द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एंजियोस्पर्म एज वेल एज द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ एंजियोस्पर्म मोर ओवर द इकोनॉमिक्स इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द एंजियोस्पर्म वी आर नो दैट वट आर द जेमनोस्पर्म इन विच द सीड इज नॉट कवर्ड with the carpels but in angiosperm the seed is covered with the carpels so this is the more development plant in the earth the angiosperm has uh, by far the largest number from from the species assigned to 300 to 400 families the group is most highly evolved and dominant among our present day floras of the world so first of all we we are discuss about that uh, the what is the meaning of uh, angiosperm the angiosperm is the greek word the angions means vessels and sperma means seed so the angiosperm are those plant in which the vessels and seeds are present the angiosperm are most development plants in which the flower seed and vessels are present angiosperm are the largest group of plant on the earth the approximately uh, 2 lakh 70 hazar noun noun species alive today angiosperm included all plants with have flowers and account of approximately 80% of all noun living plants the evolutionary development of angiosperm that how they are developed the angiosperm evolved during the cretaceous period about uh, 125 to Uh, 100 million years ago the leaf imprint shows a uh, uh, fixed uh, species and angiosperm that uh, flourished during the cretaceous period uh, so this is the angiosperm develop, uh, evolutionary development a large number of pollinating insects insects also appeared during the during this uh, this same period so uh, we can say that in the cretaceous period the angiosperms are develop, uh, developed the characteristics of angiosperm angiosperm has developed flowers and fruits so angiosperm has the flower and fruits the flower serves as the reproductive organs for the plant and the flowers have a wide array of colors shape smell of which are the purpose of attracting pollinators so in the angiosperm plant the root stem and leaves are present the xylem and phloem is present in the uh, if we are uh, uh, talk about the xylem the conveys water and dissolved minerals from the roots to the shoots the phylum transport food made in the leaves to the roots and developing leaves and fruits so terminology is uh, is the most important part of the plant the andrisium bearing one more stamen the gem uh, the genisium bearing one or more carpels bisexual perfect flower containing both stamens and carpels so uh, in this in, in the angiosperm uh, the by uh, the plants are bisexual and unisexual so unisexual imp, imp, uh, imperfect because in the unisexual flower uh, the stamens and carpels are present on the different plants in the bisexual uh, par perfect flower containing a both stamen and carpels in the uh, same plant so uh, in the angiosperm the andrisium ganesiums are present they are not developed the cones but uh, uh, they have the uh, reproductive organs the stamen and carpels which are more important for the development the uh, angiosperm has uh, two classes monocotyledon and dicotyledons monocots and dicots we can say that the monocotyledons are also called the monocots and dicotyledons are also called the uh, dicot so Uh, first of all we uh, in the mono monocotyledon have a single cotyledon and uh, stem vascular bundles uh, secreted roots are adventitious and stem vas uh, in the dicot 
the vascular bundles in a ring and root developed from the radical so the flower part in a dicot multiple of, of four or five major leaf wins uh, reticulate venation hoegi uh, and in the mono uh, in the monocot flowers parts in the multiples of three major leaf wins uh, and wins are the uh, parallel uh, jo venation hoegi theek hai so these are the these are the di difference between the monocotyledons we can see that in monocots flowers part in the multiple of three major leaf wins parallel and stem vascular bundle and roots are adventitious but in the dicot flowers present in the multiple of four or five four or five jo flowers parts ne oh, uh, available hunde ne and major leaf wins are reticulate and the stem vascular bundles in a ring and the roots developed from the radical in morphology now we discuss the morphology of angiosperm this is the structure of a flower in which the sexual uh, reproductive parts are present so a sexual repro uh, reproduction in the plants is occurred due to the presence of the flower so uh, in the in the angiosperm the stamens and carpels are present the these are the stamens so uh, in this uh, we can we can see that this is the anther and this is the filament the this is the stigma ovary and style these are the most important part for a or a of a flower and the ovary is the most important part because in this in this part the development uh, development of metaosis meiosis is occur so uh, these are the petals these are the petals pedicel thalamus placement placenta ovule petals sepals ovary style stigma anther filament and liquule liquule in which the uh lobes of ovary lobes theek hai so uh, this this is the morphology of angiosperm the parts of the flower this is the parts of the flower the stigma style ovary and ovule are called pistil and anther and filaments are called stamens receptacle sepals stem leaf okay so we can see that this is the xylem this is the xylem phloem and cambium present and the vascular bundles inside the stem of the dicotyledonous plant okay so vascular bundles are also present so these are the angiosperm because in in these plants the flowers are present for reproduction now we are study the distribution of angiosperm one reason for dominance is relatively high photosynthetic capacity of their leaves they occupy every habitat on earth exhibit extreme uh, environments such as the highest mount of so the reasons immediately surrounding the poles and deepest oxen they live as epithis living on the on the other plants they are occur uh, abundantly shallows of rivers fresh water lakes to lasers extent salts lakes and the sea over 250000 species of flowers plant, plants flowering plants have been described with the about 460 families the most derived families are listed below these are the families of angiosperm in in the list above showing the nine largest families we, which are the very important in our syllabus the life cycle of a angiosperm we know that the flower part is more important because in this part the reproduction reproductive organs are present stamens and carpels so mature sporophyte plant hoega deployed hoega and then seed banega simple fruit 
इम्ब्रोयो बनेगा और जायगोट बनेगा और एग एग बनेगा और देन किया फ्लार बनेगा सो दी जर्मिनेट पोलन ग्रीन्स ओवरी अव्यूल ओब्रियोसैक फीमेल गमिटोफाइट दिस इज द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ द एनजियोस्पर्म हैप्लॉयड डेप्लॉयड एंड सिंप्लीफाइड एनजियोस्पर्म लाइफ साइकिल सो दिस इज द दिस इज द पार्ट दैट इनिशिएट द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ द एनजियोस्पर्म द पोलन ट्यूब्स पोलन ट्यूब्स एंथर और एग एंड स्पर्म की फर्टिलाइजेशन होएगी फ्यूज होएगा फिर जायगोट बनेगा देन इम्ब्रोयो बनेगा और फिर सिंपल फ्रूट बनेगा देन सीड एंड देन की है सीड की जर्मीनेशन होएगी और जो जर्मीनेटिंग सीड है वो मच्योर स्पोरोफाइट प्लांट प्रोड्यूज करेगा डेप्लॉयड प्लांट प्रोड्यूज करेगा सो दिस इज द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ एनजियो स्पर्म नैक्सट द इकनोमिक इंपोर्टेंस ऑफ एनजियो स्पर्म द फ्लॉवरिंग प्लांट्स हैव आर नंबर ऑफ यूज एज अ फूड स्पेसिफाई एज ग्रेन शूगर्स वेजिटेबल्स फ्रूट्स ऑयल्स नट्स एंड स्पीसिस स्पाइसिस इन द एडिशन प्लांट्स एंड देयर प्रोडक्ट सर्व्स आर नंबर ऑफ अदर नीड्स सच एज डाइज डाइज फाइबर्स टिम्बर फ्यूल मेडिसन एंड ऑरनामेंटल्स सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एनजियो स्पर्म Thank you for watching